Hello everyone and welcome to the very special anniversary season of Back in Time. It is now season 4 and this time around we are traveling back to ancient Egypt. From Cleopatra to the Sphinx to the Pharaohs, everyone is familiar with the famous setting. To replicate this, we're going to be highlighting three of the features from this time period to create a sense of Egypt and an otherwise vanilla game of UHC. To do so, we have a very special custom-made ca uh, map crafted by the very talented Silhu that imitates Egypt. The map is entirely desert, with all rivers and natural pools of water removed on the surface. But then how do you get trees and animals, you might ask? Well, along the z axis of the map, the Nile River has been constructed, and along its coast is where you will find your trees and animals. You can't construct In addition, river. smaller oases, oasis, I, oh, I don't know what you call it have been built around the map where you can also find a few trees and animals, but the majority is along the Nile, so I recommend getting that as soon as possible. It's a big crack of sorts, but with natural resources instead. To help cross the 40-ish block wide Nile, a few bridges have been constructed to ease with that. While walking along the Nile, you may, know, you, blah, 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 you may notice some large triangles in the distance. Well, how could we do ancient Egypt without the pyramids? Yes, yeah, Sil has also recreated the Great Pyramids of Giza large into the world, triangles. a small, medium, and large one. Two of, the, two of these pyramids can be found close to zero, 0 and the other is a bit further off. The last, but not least, feature we have is that the mummies have escaped their catacombs and are all over ancient Egypt. What this means is that in a special form of zombie apo apocalypse that I'm calling Mummy Apocalypse, zombies are the only hostile map or hostile mob that can spawn. Special thanks to Pelargo who found a zombie texture that makes them look like actual mummies. These mummies can drop all the items that other hostile mobs can drop, so it drops string and arrows and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, in addition, because of the map, there's not a lot of uh, sugarcane, so sugarcane can also uh, drop from trees. And now for the game settings. This season, Nether will be disabled, horses will be disabled, golden heads will be enabled and heal three hearts, absorption will be disabled, PvP will be enabled the second episode, meetup will be the seventh episode, and the map size is 2k by 2k. This season was organized by myself. A very huge thank you to Sil again for building the amazing map. A very big thank you to Tommy for hosting the game in the TeamSpeak, and to Sir for generously building the spawn. And now I'm going to introduce the teams on the special anniversary season of Back in Time. So, first and foremost, we have uh, Kak and Tease and Shut Up Brick, who are finally able to play after all this time. And then we have Cryptic and Jamie the Elite. Uh, Sandra returning from Season 1, and honestly, Steph returning from Season 2. We have Christopher, who's a newcomer. Big One, who's returning from Season 2. Cluesmaker, coming back for all the seasons. Speedo Shire, a uh, substitute for the season. Kid Fierce, who has played all seasons as well. Still, who's Zip. also a substitute. Uh, we have Fukano, coming back from Season 3. We have new player, Gwep, that's not Minister. Um, we have uh, Lord Laylapse, coming back from Seasons 2 and 3. Pelargo coming back from Season 3, Jacob returning from Season 2, Mike, uh, Michael, formerly known as Green, uh, Scribbler is returning from Season 2, Tom is coming back from the last few seasons, we have myself and uh, Griffin, who doesn't seem to actually be here, we have uh, Flap and BJR, uh, BJR the newcomer, what, what's the point guys? Uh, then we have uh, Life Leaf and Newcomer Megan, and we have FDEF underscore Quack V8 and Slow Daddy. <laughs> what up, YouTube? You <laughs> and... know what? Let me really go talk here. We're back. Thanks. Back. And uh, with all that, uh, we'll now go on with the season of Back in Time. Okay. Time season four. I'm here with Jacob. We're playing ancient Egypt. There's a river. Wow. Um, a bunch of other stuff. There's also a, there's a village over here. Jake's as well. running to a and village. I'm running to trees. We're gonna I do this. I see a bookshelf house. So oh, I see the place. I see the trees by the river. I'm going to the river. Okay. There's actually a savanna, and there's a lot of trees over by this village too. Okay. Uh, there's also a mummy. That's no bueno. 
Fun times. Oh, there's, there's two bookshelf houses. Good. Plenty of books. Books for days. Yeah. You gotta make sure you get all the food from that village, because... Yeah, uh, I've I gone over a stack of carrots already. I don't know how abundant so. food is here. So, it's gonna be I something. Found a bunch of sugar cane in this Okay, good. Too. Although that's not really yeah, useful. Yeah, it's not really important. Although I'm gonna grab it anyway, just so other people can't take it. May as well. Um, I see a Polargo. Okay. He might get the other books before I can get him. Alright. This river is sick, although if anybody falls in it, yeah. they're basically he's dead. Gonna he's gonna take some of the books, but I've still got a majority of them. Yeah, if people fall in this river, they're dead, basically, so... <laughs> if you fall in the river, do not expect to be alive. I got 30 books. Okay, nice. That's good enough. Um, also, I've got a stack of... Could I get more than a stack of potatoes? Or is that gonna... Um, I think that's fine. I just found a few pigs and chickens, so... Alright, well, I've got a stack and 40 potatoes. I hope that'll be enough. Alright, sweet. Also got 30 books, so... Pretty good so far. Uh, for everybody who's gonna ask what pack I'm using, I'm using the Shant Pack version 4. I'm using my new-ish HD pack that I made. 3.0? Something like that. Oh boy. It's not the copper pack, and it's not my HD default, so... It's a mix. It's the other one. Yep. Oh, and of course, alright, sweet. I'm gonna have to go AFK shortly. But I should be good for a few minutes, so... Alright. So, um... I think recently you and I have been teaming a lot more in recorded yeah, rounds, so that's we interesting. Have a lot. Like, um, in, in... one thing that we can talk about, um, is Desire 6, yep. which was an interesting time. That was um, an interesting time. Could have gone better. It was a good I season, exactly though. I had fun. Rush getting off, but... Yeah, it was unfortunate, but that's what it is. I was very excited to see my cousin from California, because I only get to see him like once every other year, so. Mm -hmm. It was a very enjoyable time. It's good for you, anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess something I can talk about... Actually, I don't know if episode 3 will be out. Let's see, if I release... No, yeah, episode 3 will definitely be out. The whole season's gonna end by the time the first episode of this comes out, so... Um, so yeah, basically, unfortunately we did have technical difficulties server-side, but thankfully the season was good enough so that we didn't have to redo. Yeah. Um... The technical difficulties for anybody who hasn't watched in episode three, the server that we used, NA Arctic, uh, just it randomly died. shut down. So because of that, we had to restart the game mode, which Mary was Connor. yeah, which cycled the game modes and stuff. And we had Blood Diamonds on for an extra twenty minutes longer than it should have been on. Um, but yeah, so that was a bit disappointing as an organizer from my end. I thought from the moment that happened that everything was going to start going downhill, but it turned out that the rest of the season was pretty good, so I'm not too upset. It can't be a desired season without it ending in a massive clusterfuck of a meetup. So. Yep, you are correct. That was if an interesting in massive, time. If it doesn't end in a massive clusterfuck, we might have to redo just because of that. Yeah, basically. Um, but yeah, I was, I mean, I was alright with how the season ended. Hopefully we don't get delayed because, like, then we're gonna have to cut literally all of this out. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I was alright with how it ended. I would have been happier if it was a bit closer, considering mm -hmm. this season, season 6, was the first time since season 1 where more than one person was alive on the winning team. Um, but it was still really intense. Yeah, it wasn't the end of the world though, because yeah, they were all below five hearts, so I wasn't too too upset. But like, as yeah. as somebody who was like panicking when the server went down in episode three, I was I was hoping that the rest of the season would have been like a blowout, but it was alright. So again, I'm not complaining. Season seven, uh, there's a lot of discussion going on about that with me and Tommy right now. Um, hopefully, it'll be a good time. But we haven't... I mean, it's a desire season. It's gonna end up in a massive clusterfuck somehow. So. Yeah. Uh, so... I'd yeah. just like to point out right now that I have 19 apples. Do you really? I think apple um, rates are really high. Yeah, apple rates are definitely very high. I see and Jamie. Kind of Got plenty of food. Um... You want me to go and find you so I can give you some food? Uh, I'm alright on food right now. 
Why is Kid Fierce wearing a Magikarp skin? God damn it. Alright. Hey, Kid Fierce. Um, so I don't really know how caves are gonna be like in this. Yeah, like, I don't. I assume they're gonna be in, like, I don't know. I don't know if it was anything like. I don't know if it was like, because there's a good chance that he just replaced all the surface blocks with sand and stuff. Yeah. So, like, I'm not like. Oh, what the heck oh, are we gonna do? Good. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? Parker? Oh, I see some. I think I see a bridge of the Nile. Yeah. I do see a bridge of the Nile. Oh, what are your coordinates, by the way? Like uh, I'm right now. here. Oh, that's not. It's. Slash TC. I hate Tommy's server. Okay, we're a little bit far away. I'm gonna. I I'm see, I'm good on food. You Jamie. don't you don't have to worry okay. about food. But okay. All right. Let's see. I'll just start uh, going caving then. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So apparently, a bunch of zombies just drop a bunch of stuff. So it's gonna be easy to get like bows and everything. Yeah. Which is the good thing about this game mode. But unfortunately, um, pearls are off. Although yeah. that's technically a good thing when Shut Up Brick is in the game, so. There's somebody. Yeah. I keep seeing block particles on the ground and keep thinking it's somebody below me, but it's not. I see a cow in the river. Okay. Zombies in full gold. I can hurry up and die, thank you. Alright, I have two string immediately. That's very good. Yes, it is. Very I good. hear many zombies below me as well, but I'm not trying to tussle with them, so. I'm trying to find a surface cave where I can go caving because I think I've got enough wood. I've got plenty of apples. I have a few apples. I don't have that many, but it's alright. I cut down enough for a stack of sticks and a stack of planks, and I got a ridiculous amount. Alright, sweet. Zombies spawn way too often in this game mode, I think. Like, I literally I see, see a zombie every two I seconds. Lord and Jamie. I see a lot of people like near the Nile. I'm gonna try and go away from the Nile. Yeah, I moved. The Nile seems like a pretty dangerous For that specific reason. Like, I see a few surface caves near the Nile, but I don't want to risk dying early on. I haven't seen any iron or coal in this cave, so I don't know what the deal is, but... Actually, I probably have. I'm just blind and haven't actually looked at it. Oh, shit. What? I fell down a ravine. Oh, alright. I only took two and a half hearts, though. It's not a terrible fall. It's not the end of the world. Fall. Yeah, okay. Could have been much worse. I landed on the side of the ravine, luckily. Mm hmm I did that once with a horse in a high pixel game. The horse literally saved me. If I didn't have a horse, I would have died. Um, but yeah, I had Daredevil, and I just fell down a ravine, and then... Um, oh, there's baby zombies in this. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I fell down a ravine and landed on half a heart, so that was fun. Thirty-two iron. This cave's not going down very far, but it's all right. I guess for now. Uh, a decent amount of iron. Hopefully, I can get Iron Man in this game because I played a recorder on recently where I was very close to getting Iron Man. So I have never once been Iron Man in a recorder ground. Really? Before. How many have you played? Do you know? I've played more than fifty. I know that much. This is my fifty-third right now. So. Congrats. Adjusted stats about my 52nd one, so I like update my own stats page every like couple of months usually. I can't do that because I, I always leave something out if I do that. Yeah, gotta do it immediately so I remember everything. Like, I think I updated it like a few weeks ago now. I don't know exactly. I have like a I have pretty close to a 2.0 KD, so that's not bad. Yeah, I'm between 1.5 and 2, I think. I think mine's like 1.82 or something, so... The, the thing that's hindering my KDR a lot is Evolution. I've played 8 seasons of that, and I still only have 1 kill. Rip. Being from Season 4, which was on Dita, I think. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, I got a Ever cursor. since... I'm very unlucky. Every single season, I seem to die in some stupid way that... Well, that happens sometimes, yep. unfortunately. For example, Desire, I've got the Organizer's Curse. Can't get, like, any kills. I have, like, three, I think. Bushies in our Desire channel. Classic. I just found a very large amount of mummies. Yeah, Desire 4 was your big uh, takeover season. Yeah. 
easily Iron just Ford. ran over Griffin with that. Although I think you guys are neck and neck now. Actually, no, I think he yeah. beat you after season six. Yeah, he probably beat me after season six. I also have two string off of some mummies now. All right, not bad. Uh, kid is down like half his health already. So if I do see him in my cave again, I can kill him. <laughs> um, but yeah, actually, I'm staircasing towards the wall. I should probably not do that. But I'm doing that anyway, cause oh well. Found a vein of gold. Sweet. I haven't seen anything other than iron and coal so yeah, far. Yeah, I heard some lava on diamond level, but it wasn't anything good. It was just a random lava pool on like Y14. Right. Kind of sucks. Oh well. There's a vein of gold it in it, so I'd say it was worth. Yeah. All right, I'm going AFK for a bit. I will be right back. I'm um, just gonna say extra shout out to Silo, uh, he's teaming with Kid Pierce. If you want to go check him out. Um, Big shout out to him for creating this uh, terrain. It's amazing. So is amazing. That does. I'm back. Oh, welcome back. Thank you. I'm finally making full iron. Right, I've got an iron helmet and I also have a diamond pickaxe now. So Ooh, nice. Okay. I found exactly five diamonds. Nice. Pretty good. That is pretty good. I just made shears on accident. Fuck. have nearly enough iron for full iron. I should probably start working on that. Yeah. I found a pretty big cave as well, so I don't think that should be too much of an issue. That's good. When did I get leather? Oh yeah, I killed a bunch of cows. Duh. I'm just gonna make the enchant table really quick. Go I've for got, it. I've got plenty of books. Oh, I'm on fire. God damn it. Alright. There goes like four hearts of my health. Oh, I got a, another piece of string, so I've got a bow. It's fucking annoying. You can't find water in caves, so I don't care if that was a shame because of the desert terrain. Oh, you really? Can, you, you can find water in caves, I just found it. Okay. So. okay. I don't need I'll to go to zombies. the Nile. And, yes. Good. Oh, Syl sees me, apparently. I don't know where Syl is. User joined your channel. Hey, oh, Bushy. Hey, hey Grimblock, please. And Jake. That's me. Yes. You guys sound enthusiastic. Yeah. yeah. Very enthusiastic. How's it going? How are you doing? Uh, pretty okay. Things could be going better. I mean, I know how everyone's doing. I could spoil. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil. Yep. Uh, I'm on the UBL committee, so that is not allowed. Uh, Two. Unless you want to be on the UBL. Oh, Two months for you, sir. It's my dream. Um, right, what I offense would you like? I'm gonna, Michael and Jake are having a fun time in this year's uh, game. That's the spoil. I am indeed. That's yeah. a baby zombie, so please don't. Okay. Hey, Green. Do you remember what I taught you? What we were taught? By Shadow Dragon? Yes. Yes. That's exactly what I was gonna say. How the fuck did you know what I was gonna say? Because I'm that a psychic. Scary. Oh my god. When Diva uses her ult, what do you do? Hide behind a wall. Well, yeah, exactly. No, I think and you just die. I think. Which direction do we go when we face a fork in the road? I don't know. Left. Alright, there's left. the end of the episode. See you guys next time. Yeah, Shut up, Pushy. <laughs>